It's very interesting how I just did a video talking about Harvey Weinstein's verdict and how I didn't really want to follow the trial because lamestream media already had that covered. And I was talking about different trials that were going on that lamestream media did not cover or were not covering in its entirety um, that I really felt a connection with. And, of course, with this trial right here with the John Lee Coward and Nia Wilson trial. Well, more so John Lee Coward because he's the one on trial. So I have another update. You know, with this particular case, and it's actually two of them, two in one. The first one is the closing argument. Well, the testimony has ended already for this particular portion of the trial, but the closing argument has been delayed for two weeks. Now, this article that I'm reading from was posted on February 24th, 2018, and I know it's kind of late and you're getting it on the 27th. But that's because I'm just now learning about it right now. See what I mean when I say lamestream media doesn't put it out there like that? And because this is a trial that I want to stay on top of, it's like if my subscribers don't remember that this is a trial that I'm following, then I have to do my due diligence and just go to Google and type this individual's name in and see what comes up in the news tab of Google. So I don't know why it's being delayed two weeks because I haven't read the article yet, but we're going to find out. Testimony in the Nia Wilson trial concluded on Monday after prosecutors called their last rebuttal witness to the stand, but jurors won't hear closing statements for another two weeks because of a pre-scheduled break. Deputy District Attorney Butch Ford finished questioning of his final witness, a psychiatrist who met with defendant John Lee Coward while he was at a Santa Rita jail after fatally stabbing Wilson on a BART station platform two years ago. Judge Alan Heimer reminded the jury about the court's planned break for a recess from Wednesday until March 9th when closing arguments are expected to be heard. He urged jurors not to discuss the case with anybody or read about it in the time being. And they better make damn sure that none of those jurors utter a word because if that gets out, if anything that is discussed within the confines of that courtroom and for that particular case from any of those jurors, that could literally throw the entire case down the tubes, which means they would have to get a whole new uh, get a replace the jurors and really do this trial all over again. So they better make sure that they don't say one goddamn word. Um, let's see what else uh, is said here. It says, you are to remain objective fact finders, Heimer, Heimer said. Coward, age 29, was not present in the courtroom Monday. He has pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity and the double stabbing that killed Wilson, age 18, and sent her sister Latifah to the hospital with serious injuries on July 22, 2018. Coward admitted to the stabbings at Oakland MacArthur Bark Station when he took the witness stand two weeks ago, but he said he believed Wilson and her two sisters were aliens and part of a gang that had kidnapped his grandmother now this part right here is new to me now either this part right here i i must have i could have possibly missed but he said that he believed that nia wilson and her sister were aliens and part of a gang that had kidnapped his grandmother He's really trying to play up this insanity thing. And I wonder if his lawyers are the ones that are trying to coach him into that direction. Aliens and a, a part of a gang that tried to can really, really. And I bet you there's nothing wrong with his grandmother. Better yet, is his grandmother even still alive? But okay. A third Wilson sister, Tashia, was unharmed in the attack. Now, that's new because we didn't know that a third sister was there. We didn't even know there was a third sister. So, that's new information. The murder trial hinges on Coward's mental state at the time of the slaying. Defense attorney Christina Moore has acknowledged that her client is Nia Wilson's killer, but she has argued that he was incapable of understanding reality. If successful, the strategy could allow Coward to serve a sentence in a state mental hospital rather than prison. Once the jurors walked out of the room on Monday, Moore said she observed a protest when she returned from the lunch break near the court, which may have been visible to jurors. I just wanted the, the record to reflect that she said. 
Heimer said he would examine the situation if he sees that any member of the jury is influenced by it. Earlier in the day, during a morning recess, Ford told a group gathered outside of the courtroom that Moore had alleged someone tried to assault her during a confrontation while she walked to court and that she was able to take a picture of the person. Let me just say this right now. John Lee Coward's attorney, this Christina Moore, she ain't shit. If y'all don't remember, she's the one that kept trying to push to get the trial moved out of Alameda County in California to a place where no one was really familiar with this case in hopes that they would vote in his insanity defense and he could go to a mental hospital or be found not guilty altogether. That's her. And now she's doing all of this. It's almost like, is, is this your attorney or is this your little buddy? Because she's doing all kinds of the uh, gymnastic type shit to try and get him off. She's not even, in my opinion, acting as an attorney. It's almost like she's trying to act like a friend. They said, a spokesman for the Alameda County Public Defender's Office said the agency would not comment on the incident and it was unclear when or where the alleged attempt attack occurred. Oh, that's easy. It didn't occur. She's making all that shit up. But that's the only update I have as of right now. As it pertains to uh, John Lee Coward and his most recent escapades as far as this trial is concerned at the moment. And it looks like the next update we shall receive, if less anything else happens between now and then, will be around or in around March the 9th when they have their closing arguments. And hopefully they'll have the verdict out before the end of March as well. But y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments. Like, share, subscribe. Make sure you follow me on Twitter if you haven't done so already. Have your notifications turned on and I will talk to you in the next one.